Hey guys, you're not going to believe where I'm visiting. I'm in Gibraltar and um, it's under English domain and it is located around the Spain area that I was visiting. And I was surprised to find this beautiful botanical garden that I can't wait to show you and see what plants grow in this beautiful garden. Come with me, let's go check out plants. Stenoclata from Madagascar. I've never seen this one. It's giant. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let's read this. It says the meeting of two continents. Succulent plants from the old world and the new world. Succulents can survive in the in the more arid areas of the world due to the varying methods of water storage, such as fleshly leaves to swelter to swollen stems or specialist root, specialized root structures. Succulent plants are to be found in many different families. The best known being the cacti from the family Cactaceae, which are native mainly in North, Central, and South America. So then we're gonna see a lot of succulents and cacti. That's a beautiful one. It's, this one's from Mexico. It's called the Desirillion. Beautiful. So yeah, it's beautiful to see different plants from different parts of the world all together in one spot. That's what I love about botanical gardens. Wow, look at these. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And so this is different. We got a prickly pear uh, cactus, and this is. Um, I think in Spanish we call it un atu, and it's the fruit that comes after the flower. And I know uh, my parents would eat them. I haven't ate one in a long time, but I know a lot of times it can be edible. Look at the flower, it just passed. Fortunately, we couldn't see it, and it's peak time. Do you see that, that that's growing on that tree, on the side of that tree? It's some kind of, I want to say, jungle cactus. And I just love to see how it loves to climb. I have a lot of different types of jungle cactuses. Maybe you've seen them in my videos before. Um, I have them usually hanging, but it's so beautiful to see them climbing up trees. And I'll just let my cameraman, which is Mr. Little Bashi here. He's new in the game and he is 10 years old. And uh, he like, tell me now what you think, how well he's doing at this, his filming skills, but he really wants to get into filming videos. I'll let you guys see a shot of all these plants that I'm looking at. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just also impressed with this tree, like that one right there. You see how it just, I don't know, it's just like a mixture of two plants that I've never seen before. I think that's so interesting. <laughs> and if you love cactus and succulents and palms, you're gonna love it here. Okay, we're gonna stop it right here and walk to another area. Here, I wanna show you something. I think, it, tell me what you think, but I think that's a roadkill cactus and um, I have one of those. And it's just incredible to see it grown to this tall. That must be three feet tall, I would say. And I just love it. Don't you think it's so interesting? Just like flat and thin. Oh, here's some type of uh, uh, jungle cactus growing up that tree. I feel like I have that one. I don't even remember the name right now. That's really cool. The barrel cactus, the ones that are round, get it close up there. Those are really cool. So we are here again located in the south 
southest part of Europe. So it is a very, uh, doesn't want rain that much in this area. But there's a lot of sun. So definitely reason why they've decided to make this botanical garden one with more succulents. So can you, can you like zoom in to those, that little plant that's growing up that tree? I think that's really cool. Well, it almost looks like a snake, isn't it, doesn't it? Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, we're gonna stop the video and jump to another spot. Look at that! Oh wow, that's like a fruit after the flower. And it's yellow and nice and round. I've never seen one that's so yellow. I wonder if you can eat that. So this is some kind of uh, agave, I would think? Or an aloe i always get a little mixed up between those two sometimes there's cut kind of, i think cross spread ones too i don't see a name here look at those definitely plants that do great when there's not a lot of water look at you can film up that tree in that shot wow we can even go up there Cacti. These are uh, like the grand pot cactuses, cacti. There's all kinds of variety. When I call them grandfather cacti, it's because they have like the gray hair on them. Gemma, do you see these little cacti that look like little grand grandpas because they have gray hair? Isn't that cool? I love those. This is my little niece, Gemma. So I'm teaching her about plants. Do you see those that are blue? Aren't those pretty? And look at those over there, they look like little flowers, those little succulents that are growing, growing a little bit around. I want to touch the cactus. You can't touch it because it hurts, baby. It hurts. Look at these and the colors. You see the pink on this plant? You yeah. see the edges? Look They're pink. It got pinched. Oh. Very beautiful shot. Maybe just looking up, up at all those trees. That's beautiful. Oh, look at this one, Bashi. You're going to love this one. You see that one? It grows like kind of like a snake. It's just kind of growing out like that crazy. Sometimes we collect cacti because they grow really crazy. And look at this one. This here, These little round ones. Reminds me of one I have at home, but mine's a lot smaller. And you can tell they just had all these flowers. It just went away. Gemma, let's keep going. I think um, this one is called something like a Mexican pole cacti, I believe. Uh, and I'm, I don't know exactly, but I know there's one that's called something about Mexican that I've been wanting to get. Let's keep looking. Look, look there's some steps right here. Let's go down this way to the right. See, cacti can be round, they can be slim, they can have gray hair, they can be just all kinds. This one's an elephant bush. Oh, that's beautiful growing down the rock side of the rock. That's beautiful. Look at that, those. Those are a little crazy. I have no idea what the name of those are, but they're really pretty. So pretty. Remember, you can't touch these because these poke. Poke, 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 poke. Because I want the leaf poke. Okay, I think we're going to stop it here. And we're going to head upstairs. These cutie patooties. It's like a prickly pear and it's a purple type something purple pad cacti I, I have a small small variety of this but I love it don't you love the color that's that's special 
I love any plant that's just a different color that you didn't expect. <laughs> okay, there's some other plants here. Oh, come, come, come. Come Fire. These are a fire stick. They're called fire sticks. And they can change color according to the sun. The more sun they get, they can get more red, orange, and yellow. And then these I love because they look like little roses. But they're succulents. They're purple and they really stand out. They've done such a beautiful arrangement here. Different ones in contrast. Look at these over here. So those little waves on them. Isn't that a bit pretty with the little yellow little edges? I mean, just the whole shot. And then the grandpa ones over here there in the background, you see the gray ones? Right there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Wow, what a combination. Let's zoom out so they can see the whole picture. A whole view. Very nice. I almost was telling you, like, aloes are native to Somalia. Aloes are native to Saudi Arabia. Aloes are native to Germany and Oman. So Madagascar, so obviously Africa. A lot of aloes come from Africa, and it makes sense. Look at this, look at this. That view right there. Like a succulent jungle. Right over there. Beautiful, right? Is that a bird of paradise in the background? Some kind of palm, maybe. Or a banana? I don't know. Very interesting. A ginormous. Okay, so we did get a shot of the Gibraltar rock, right? A famous rock where there's wild monkeys up there, which is pretty amazing if you ever to get to go up there. Um, and what's interesting is that that half of the rock is, again, I repeat, we're right now in the south part of um, Europe. But that another piece of this is in, in Africa, the north part. Um, Bashi here got to go yesterday, and he was able to see, um, but a long time ago, the continents were connected, Europe and Africa. And so this half of the rock stayed in this in this part of Europe. The other half is in um, Africa. So it's pretty neat. It is. There you see your boat. Wow. So yeah, I've, don't don't shake it too much. Slowly, you steady. Especially when you zoom in, it kind of like shakes more. But yeah, let's go down and I'll say goodbye. Let's get That's a jolie. Yeah. Let's check out these beautiful <laughs> Huge. Um, are these birds of paradise? No, what would you guys say? I, I don't know. It's ginormous. It resembles a bird of paradise. And then over here we see like a hibiscus. And look at those beautiful flowers. Oh, do not drop my phone, but I want you to record right over there. That's a Diffenbachia. That one, it has a little yellow. Um, to the right, right there. Mm -hmm. And then there's a monstera to the left. That's wonderful. There's such an enormous monstera over here. I'll show you. This is one of my favorite plants, right over here. This right here. Look at this leaf. This is mind blowing. I love this plant. Look at that. Are you getting the whole leaf? Or zoom out? Yeah. Thumbnail. Okay. You can see it growing up the tree. And this is the fruit. The fruit that this plant gives. Wow. And look, just the back of it. You can record the back of it. And look at all the fenestrations, all the little holes. You know why these holes happen on the leaves? Because when the leaves start becoming so big, it starts making holes so the sun can go through it. And that way the leaves in the bottom can also get sun. And that way it takes care of the rest of the plant. Did you see the big fish? Oh really? Look how beautiful we hear. Oh wow. 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 Poor thing. If you look is a philodendron hope. I believe it's the hope one. Do you the one that has those I would say you got in it. Yeah, you're getting it. Good job. Okay, careful. <laughs> Nervous with my phone falling. 
Yeah. You got it, baby. Hold it with both hands. Hold it with both hands. Wow, this is a beautiful garden. You see how the plants just beautify a space? Imagine if this place was just brown with uh, dirt. Would you enjoy it as much? Plants are a gift from God. And they're just meant to help us just re first to purify the air. And they definitely just entertain us with its beauty. They give us food. I mean, come on. It's just something so, so special. How could you not love it? Okay, so we are ready. I hope you enjoyed this tour in the Botanical Gardens of Gibraltar. I hope I actually did a pretty good job for you guys. It was his first time, so if you shook the camera a little bit, give him a break. But one day he's gonna be a great cameraman. And I appreciate him coming with me on my vacation and capturing these beautiful plants for you. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and more videos will be coming. Bye!